Welcome to our video set on optimizing your PC. In this video, we'll explore removing non-essential items from your taskbar. Now, one quick change you can make to speed up your PC is if you pay attention to what's happening in the taskbar. And the taskbar is this main bar here, which lets you know which software you have running, and it also has quick start links here. A button, of course, for the start menu. But over on the right, here are the taskbar icons. And I've seen computers with up to 20 of these, and these are all processes that are often running in the background, but are using up memory, are using up your computer's processing power. And often, you don't need some of these, or even most of these. I've reduced the number of icons I have to only four. This one here, if I hold the mouse over it, volume control. And if I double click that, that's the volume control, the generic Windows volume control panel. And there's this. This is unique. This is software related to the sound card in my computer, so you may have something different. So when I double-click that, you see AC97. That's the sound card. And the sound card is essentially the circuit board that interfaces between your computer's brain, the CPU, and, for example, your speakers and your microphone. So you couldn't plug the speakers directly into the central processing unit of your computer, there has to be a go-between to translate what's going on. And that's what your sound card does. So, you need special software to run the sound card, and that's known as a driver. Special software that runs part of your computer. For example, you need a driver to run your printer. You need another driver for your mouse, your keyboard, your sound card, and so on. Drivers effectively tell Windows how to use that bit of equipment. Okay, so AC97 here, and I've left that in the taskbar. Let's close that. This is Zone Alarm. The Zone Alarm firewall is running, and this is for, if I click this, this is telling me if I click it once, just left click it once, it tells me which USB devices are connected. So actually, I have three external hard drives and one memory stick connected. So if I wanted to remove any of these, I don't recommend you just pull out a USB device because it can destabilize Windows. Then you have to reboot and you can even lose data. So before pulling out any USB device, it's recommended that you click this and safely remove the device. Okay, you may have many more of these running in the background, and a lot of them are going to be non-essential. So, I suggest that you minimize that as much as possible. For example, often after you install QuickTime, QuickTime installs itself in your taskbar. And unless you use QuickTime a lot, there's no need for that. So, for example, I don't want QuickTime to appear in the taskbar because I really don't use it much at all. And actually, QuickTime also inserts itself into your control panel, your Windows control panel, which is where you can have a lot of flexibility over what you can do in Windows, as you can see here. Add hardware, administrative tools, automatic updates, and so on. And to access the control panel, you go to the Start menu and Control Panel. Okay, so let's go to QuickTime, double-click, and it may look different for your version of QuickTime because I haven't updated it in a little while because I don't use it much. But if you go Advanced, and here, Tray Icon, Install QuickTime Icon in System Tray, No. So removing those kinds of things from the taskbar can help. For example, BitTorrent, quite a popular piece of software that's used for sharing files online, that inserts itself into the taskbar as well. So again, you can get rid of it from the taskbar in a similar way. 
So that's one way to start maximizing how much available memory and processing power your computer has by getting rid of non-essential things from the taskbar. So that frees up more memory and more processing power for more important things when using your computer.